Representative Paolo Duterte Step Up Campaign versus Abusive Debt Collectors July 10, 2023 Davao City Representative Paolo Duterte has cited the urgency of passing a law that would protect financial borrowers from public shaming, extortionate interest charges, and other vicious online lending practices that continue to claim more victims despite a supposed government crackdown against abusive money lenders. He called on Congress to immediately tackle bills that aim to regulate the online lending sector when it resumes sessions in two weeks so as to speed up the passage of a law that would expressly prohibit the unfair, deceptive, and shameful practices resorted to by online loan sharks. More victims have continued to come out to report being harassed, shamed, threatened, and forced to pay usurious interest charges. Both the executive and Congress need to act fast to put an end to this inhuman debt collection practices, Duterte said. Duterte noted an online petition spearheaded by Alliance of Loan Shark Victims Community Groups has gathered over 32,000 signatures so far in the hope of making its appeal heard for the government to shut down about 101 online lending apps, OLAS, that it claims to threaten, embarrass, intimidate, and cause utter grief to the unfortunate victims. Their members have also filed complaints before the Philippine National Police, PNP, anti-cybercrime group against several online lenders. Several, all as mentioned in the online petition, continued to be available on the Google Play Store. These apps remain despite a policy implemented by Google in May last year that requires developers of OLAS in the Philippines to submit a personal loan application, declaration, and other necessary documentation before they are allowed to publish on the Play Store platform. Duterte noted that the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has sustained its crackdown against earring lending companies by canceling their registrations, shutting them down, and securing convictions in courts against some of their operators. Despite these efforts, unregistered, illegal, and abusive online lending firms have to continue to mushroom, he said. The absence of a law that would tighten regulation over online money lenders is among the reasons why abusive debt collectors proliferate in cyberspace, Duterte said. Our laws need to catch up with technology which, while providing ease and convenience to consumers, have also given rise to abusive practices that have ruined not only the reputations but also the lives of their victims. The Davao City lawmaker said, Duterte said House Bill 6681, which he filed last December with Benguet Representative Eric Yap and ACCIS Party List Representative Ed Big Yap, aims to provide legislation that would regulate the collection practices of lending companies. The illegal and abusive practices of online lenders violate the provisions of various laws and regulations 
such as the Cyber Crime Prevention Act, the Data Privacy Act, the Revised Penal Code, and SEC Memorandum Number 18 Series of 2019. However, the state is mandated to legislate measures that will allow the stringent implementation of these penal laws, the bill's authors said. Under HB 6681 or the proposed Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, a debt collector is prohibited from engaging in any conduct that is intended to harass, oppress, humiliate, or abuse any debtor in connection with the collection of a debt. This include the use of threat of violence or other criminal means, the use of obscene and profane language, and the disclosure, publication, or posting of the names and other personal information of the borrowers who allegedly refuse to pay debts. The measure prohibits the collection of any amount such as interest, incidental fees, and other charges unless such amount is expressly authorized by the agreement creating the debt or permitted by law. It also prohibits false deceptive and misleading representation in collecting debts. HB 6681 also holds debt collections liable for damages in individuals or class action suits if found to have violated provisions of the measure. So-called microloan apps make it easy for borrowers to obtain loans as they do not require collateral and paperwork and can be processed as fast as 24 hours. However, many of these online lenders charge usurious interest rates with victims reporting that they have received only a fraction of the loan they borrowed but were required to pay the full amount with interest is less than a week. These onerous conditions were not stated in the terms of the loan. If the victims fail to pay even just once, they are subjected to abusive phone calls, threats of physical injuries, and other crimes. Public shaming on social media or by telling friends, office mates, and relatives through text messages about their failure to settle their debts. The petition said many victims have lost their jobs, broken up relationships and friendships, and suffered extreme grief, trauma, and depression to the point of wanting to end their lives.